Okay, I'm back. Um, haven't made a video in a while. Uh, I was talking to Conrad about my taste of art is definitely changing. Um, it could be for the better, it could be for the worse. Um, I think around Christmas time, um, I spoke to um, Algen on this chat service with this girl. So she kind of had it set up or whatever and things like that because she knows the guy and stuff and they chat a lot on um deviant art and she used to know him from concept art and stuff like that and we were just going over artwork you know like just explaining exactly what is art and things and we was looking through some of his art pieces on deviant art and stuff um the last piece he did on digit on Deviant art was this one here called On Earth or whatever. And um, Algen, like, oh, it was a huge argument in this, you know. People were saying stuff like, what's the point, you know? Why would you do this? Go back to your old art style and things like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and what I've noticed that Algen has created a group, a posse. I was going over people's sketchbooks and stuff, and their sketchbooks look like Algen's set up directly like Al just when I was on concept art and stuff so he's so he's um kind of have like offsprings now of I, I actually think he's moving art in a different direction you know uh, where you can make things look kind of lifelike but still kind of have that digital feel to it um I don't know. When I was talking and stuff, I was pretty much like, um, what's this, what some of the people were complaining about and stuff was that n these things can be shot by a camera, you know? And his whole argument was, um, yes, that is true, but this is just something I like to enjoy. Like, this is what he likes to do right now. He likes to enjoy himself and do crazy studies of of environments and stuff and doing it from an architect you know like i'm talking about using pen tools after pen tools after pen tools and stuff you know this like this process here is really thought out it's really thought out on exactly what he's doing on these um but there's so many people that love them but there's so many people that hate them also and things like that um i was if you read these forms on this one here, that's a struggle. Um, it seems like Algen is trying to get back into his old art style or whatever and things like that because he's starting to think that these huge scale drawings aren't really benefiting or you can't put it in an art gallery or anything like that, you know, so... I don't know where he's going to take it. Um, he can try to do something like Andrew Jones or whatever and try to open up art galleries where you have more of a, um, like, this can be contemporary digital art. And you can have these in galleries and all that stuff, you know. And I think it'll look beautiful from that point of view and stuff. But from a concept art point of view, this is definitely not what you know he considers concept or i consider concepts but i consider these to be studies man because that light source on the right side is just beautiful i like it um i think on some of the flares he could have left out like they just look out of place um like i said the more i draw the more i paint the more i begin to critique people a lot more because i see a lot more shit now but um yeah, I talked to this guy. Well, I didn't do most of the talking. The German girl that knows him or whatever and stuff, I guess she used to live out there. Um, she was just telling me all about him and all that stuff, and we talked to him on his chat. He couldn't see me. I was just kind of asking questions in the backgrounds and stuff like that. And I was just telling him about like how I like his older work and stuff like that and things and stuff and he said yes um he says that that's some of his best artwork and stuff and eventually he's going to go back into doing
doing it. But right now, he's just trying to do his own things with these studies, you know. But I think these studies that he's doing is going to really help him when he get back into that concept mood and stuff like that. Um, we talked about Corral Painter. Um, he doesn't really use it. We had a little argument about that. Um, I was kind of telling him that um, that sometimes I feel like when I'm using Photoshop, it turns into a stamp machine. You get something, you stamp it. You know, you get those pen tools, twist, twist this, do a perspective, put a brick stamp on a whole wall, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no painting involved in that. It's a lot of just cleanup work when you're doing digital. Where, I, you know, I was explaining to him more about Corel. He said he thought about getting into Corel and stuff like that. Uh, uh, he was pretty much saying that uh, Corel Painter is really hard to get into. And that's probably because he's really not a traditional artist. He's like a true digital artist. He don't really do a lot of um, traditional art besides a pencil. Um, so I looked up a lot of other people on the internet on concept art and stuff like that. Because like right now... Um, um, Algin gets the most, um, he gets the most attention right now and stuff. And for, a, for a long time, I didn't know why, but now I do. Um, just his attention to detail and the hours he put in by itself is ridiculous. I know there's been arguments over his, how he uses references and all that stuff, you know. I'm not really concerned with that. Um, you use your references how you use them, point blank. When when I'm doing my artwork, I'm gonna I'm not telling people I use no references, point blank. It's it's none of your damn business. Okay, the the product I put out there is what you're gonna get, point blank. You know, fuck you. Nah, <laughs> okay, take the last part out. But um, it's like okay, like with this picture right here, you know, what I'm saying I'm sure he went to a train station or whatever you know what i'm saying looked around probably took pictures and all that stuff and did a couple of sketches and he got all the thoughts in his head then he did it without no reference you know that's reasonable um i really like this pitch i like the mood in it you know what i'm saying but 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 as i look at it i'm looking at it as in hang it on a gallery wall you know what i'm saying i'm not like excited about it you know like zombies and shit coming out of nowhere or people getting killed or some shit but it's a very nice um painting i mean there's no way around that point blank and i was going through um i was talking about anime has spilled over drastically especially in places like germany and the uk because a, a lot of their artists got hit by anime fever you can see it in their drawings, you know, like this here. It's being sp spilled over greatly. I mean, I know to each his own, but it's like it's like it's getting s bad. I mean, these are good drawings or whatever and stuff. It's just getting spilled over pretty bad. Then the whole thing with the porn and the artwork and stuff is getting really repetitive on DeviantArt. Really repetitive. Yeah, that kind of creeps me out, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, anime is definitely taking control of what... I mean, they're heavily influencing us. Anime. They are. They're heavily influencing us right now. Look at that. That's anime. I, I love this shit. I love this shit. But, um, yeah, you know, um, I've just been doing a lot of research on different types of artists and stuff like that. And it's like, 
I see that a lot of artists are one dimensional. They only draw certain things. So I'm gonna um, show you something real quick. Over here on concept art, okay? These people are the gods of illustrators to me, okay? Look at that. Like, you don't see a lot of this with the upcoming illustrator artists and the young artists. They kind of avoid it, a lot of them. They'd rather do a close-up shot at a good composition angle, and they just leave it how it is or whatever. But it's like, when I see things like this or whatever, man, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, man, this is like pure illustration. Because the problem I'm having with the whole real illustration thing that people are going at, like um, Algin and people we hang around with right now and stuff, the problem I'm having with is, you know, it's like it's getting too realistic to the point where you can say it's a picture. You know? Not having enough imagination. Then, if you don't have enough imagination and you don't know what to draw, you end up drawing girls with big boobs holding a rocket that you know she can't carry because that rocket launcher is too heavy. But her titties bouncing up and down shooting shit. It makes no sense, you know, but uh, I'm starting to look at more artists like this pretty much. Like, I mean, I love this character here, man. I mean, I can see his depth in his face or whatever and stuff. He looks angry, man. It looks like something really happened to him and he want revenge. Character, man. Character building, man. I love it. Like, this guy here. You know, people don't want to do stuff like this, man. Come on. Look at that, man. This is what it's about, man. This is what it's about right here. But, th but these people don't get no looks because there's no titties popping out on their um, drawings and stuff. Like, you have your illustrators, then you have your serious illustrators. To me, these are serious illustrators. You can tell it. They really serious about it. And stuff like that. I mean, come on. This is some good stuff, man. I mean, you can go on and on with, like, just certain type of um, artist that you would admire. You know, I mean, I'm, not gonna, I'm getting all bummed up over the, what do you call it, gothic punk and all that stuff. You know, that shit's so played out, man. People need to change shit up, man. I mean, damn, like, I feel like this is your imagination. You're, you can think whatever you want to think when you have an imagination. All of these artists, man, not saying these people here because these people here are really good. A lot of these artists, like on DeviantArt, they just borrow shit from other people, man. They borrow, 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 borrow. I don't want to see another fucking wizard. Okay, Lord of the Rings got that shit covered. King Arthur got it covered, you know, the swords and all that shit. You don't need to have Jedi's and shit in your characters and stuff like that. I mean, come on. It's already been done. And you guys know this. You know? I mean, look at this shit here, man. Come on. Go outside the box. Let somebody illustrate some shit like this. But I do understand that there's a... There's a market out there for what they want and stuff like that you know so and sometimes you have to draw it but on a personal note if you're doing your personal artwork and stuff you know you need to bring it because you got your advertisement on the side they're going to pretty much tell you what to do but sometimes with your advertisements you know what i'm saying pitch them a deal and say it might look better this way I just been looking into more stuff like this, man. It's just, I mean, I don't know. 
I don't know. Art is art is drastically changing. Cause like I'm looking at these beautiful pieces here, right? I'm looking at look at this. This is nice. All of these beautiful pieces here. I want you to look at it. The color temperature and all that stuff, man. All of the flows of the color and stuff, and like it's it's unbelievable. Then I go up over here. To, um, to DeviantArt well Algis is pretty good but I still think it needs more energy you know like I don't know what's what's going on with that ear right there it's kind of fucked up and stuff like that I don't know it's like I see on my side but I don't feel the atmosphere is right he, I don't know if you need to make it darker I don't know more atmosphere. I mean, it's definitely out of whack. Um, oh, then you got the little anime thing where she had these pippy long stockings that go up into her cooch because that's how she want to fight. Because when girls go to war, they go to war like this, you know? Now, from the art that I just showed you to this type of art, man, it's it's way different. and it's And it's not just out. So, I can't say that. I was just looking at this person here. Okay. This person here is kind of the same way. You know? Same way. Like, this is supposed to be American art, right? But she makes sure she puts some Asian eyes in there somewhere, you know? Which is just baloney. Where in the hell is her? Bum, 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 bum. See, I do think something like this here is cool, though. <laughs> Tell me. I've been really searching because I'm doing these drawings. I, I'm trying to figure out how to get myself into the market. I don't want to go, like, and do something that somebody else is doing because they're already hiring that person. That's your competition. And most likely, he's going to be better than you. Like, these things here, you know what I'm saying? You'll get a lot of these here. Look at this. Long white hair. Uh, punk style hair. Uh, 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 I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. They know what they're doing or whatever, but what are you trying to say? It's like, okay. You know? I mean, I could see a thousands of these, then I can go on somebody else account and see a thousand of those all over again I mean like it, re like it really don't make sense and stuff I've been looking into a lot more um, sculpting and stuff lately man it seems like the sculptors they have some of the best speed paintings i ever seen cause these the people that sculpt man they're really good at drawing but they just choose to sculpt and there are some good ones. I mean, this guy here I like because of his color palettes. Color palettes. He still make it feel illustrated. That's the whole idea. You know? He, he's a badass dude. I'm not going to lie. Well, he's yeah, he's probably one of my favorites. Most definitely one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites. Just look at the brush strokes and stuff, man. Nowadays, you can't even see your brush strokes when you make um, environments and shit. Because everybody else on the side of you got your same damn brush stroke. And you're like, damn, man, that kind of looks like my mountain. <laughs> this guy's going to be good.
See, I, see, I love shit like this. I mean, it's not really detailed, but if but if you look at the colors, man, and how he handles them, come on. Can't I mean you can't say you don't respect that. This one too. And this guy draws in his textures by hand. Not sure on everything, but um, I seen a demo. He draws his textures in. That's crazy. He don't go out and get these crazy ass brushes and all that stuff and go haywire. He draw them in. And that's another thing. When when does it become where you're not actually drawing, but you're just doing a matte painting, you know, <laughs> or you're doing a, um, you know, like you're pretty much just doing a matte painting because you're getting these brushes that got all this information in it and you just put it on the canvas and stuff like that. That there, I don't know. It's, it's good in some way, man. But damn, I think it's gonna hurt the illustrator. Industry. That's just me. But um, this guy's badass. I like him. But Conrad, this is just pretty much what I'm talking about, man. It's like you have to find you and, and remember that shit, man. You have to find you. Because there's a lot of people doing the exact same thing because that's what's hot. But I guarantee you, they're all fighting for the same job. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show Joe, um, the guy that's helping y'all with that G.I. Joe stuff. I don't know his name, bro. Hold on. I don't know his name. Oh, this might be it. Yeah, this is it. So, Mike Thompson is doing a lot of the G.I. Joe layout stuff for these toys, Joe. Um, he has a blog, a nice-ass blog. His studio almost big as mass. I don't know, that's a different Mike Thompson. Where the fuck my Mike Thompson at? Come on, dude. Yeah. Well, he goes some of his stuff. He went hard on that biggie. Yeah, he he is he is like the um Afro digitizer, okay? You understand what I'm saying? That's what he does. I can't find his uh, stuff. I think it's called WordPress or something. It's like a blog. Yeah, well, guess I won't be able to find it. WordPress. Okay, well, who the fuck that? Mike Thompson. Like, so this is a blog he got, Joe. I want you to see this. Huh. Uh, oh God, I have no idea what happened. Uh, I 
can't find this. Okay, mic artworks. Here we go. Yeah, but this is just pretty much some of the things that he does here. He's he he's one of my favorites. Um, sometimes he go too hyper realistic. I don't like that shit. But it's whatever. He's from Brooklyn. Uh, he do a lot of stuff for um, that toy company you work in. Look at that painting there. That's a painting. <laughs> Crazy. Posing his characters. You probably met this guy, you know. He's really good at what he does. He used to do uh, comic books and all that shit, too. You know? So, that's about enough of him. But basically, my art taste has drastically change after talking to Algin and looking at all of these artists and stuff like that man because it's like you got that um three eras of art that you can go into a more of a traditional feel like these here where you feel better of doing this work because you actually went in and did the work you know it's kind of like a old school way to do digital where you make a lot of your textures yourself. And I'm not talking about making a brush that do the texture. I'm talking about taking like a soft brush and make the texture with it. Swipe by swipe. You know? And um, of course this guy here, you all know of. Uh, he the one that do the Ninja Turtle stuff and all that. Uh, yeah, I still think he's badass and stuff like that. But um, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, and damn, I don't know. I think this happened last month. I called Conrad. I called Adam. Nobody didn't want to answer the phone. I wonder why. But um, yeah, there was some art supplies. Yes, a place closed down. Yes, they was giving them all the way. There was no art students out here because it was around the holiday. And they was giving away oil paints, brushes, all of it. They was getting rid of all of it. No money. It was free. I'm talking about all type of brushes. But people didn't want to answer their phone. They probably didn't want to answer the phone because it was me calling. But now you out of luck. Because you're not going to get none of those paint brushes and things like that, you know. So, I guess I can keep them all to myself now. It adds to my studio, you know. I said, oh, man. They had some of those expensive sketchbooks, what they call them, Moleskine or whatever, man. Oh, man, I got a shitload of those, man. I got fucking, like, 20 by 20 Moleskines and shit. You know, freaking. There was some art supplies that we couldn't touch or whatever you know what I'm saying but mostly everything was grab and grab and it was only me and the person that told me about it we went out there and we cleared the fucking house I mean we got it all dude we got it all I was trying to call y'all or whatever and stuff because we can't carry everything and keep going back or whatever I mean that shit was massive of art supplies and I went about to hold all that shit you know what I'm saying? And it was free and stuff. Y'all, y'all, y'all really missed out. Y'all need to answer y'all phones, man. Straight up. Peace. But that's about it. I was just talking about um how the art world is changing. Anime are encouraging American artists to put porn into their arts now. It's just getting all out of whack. And I'm Superman. I'm putting on my cape and I'm coming to save illustration. Bit of that, eh? And like I said, my artwork is up on Concept Art and I also have a blogger page also. So, I don't even do that. Eh? Bit of that, eh? I don't even do that. Unbelievable.